Hello. Good evening. Welcome. My name is Obinako. Welcome. I Merry Christmas uh, 2018 has almost come to an end. And, uh, you know, from January up to this time, we had all kind of wishes and all kind of aspirations, you know, and uh, we're confident that our dreams, our desires, our passions, especially for our business, our businesses will come through. And uh, I'm sure some people have experienced some kind of success, no matter how little it is. And some people probably are still going through a heavy, heavy learning process. But uh, it's all good. Uh, it's business. Sometimes <laughs> it gets crazy. And um, you, you, we get to learn a lot. But uh, my name is Obidako. Um, Merry Christmas, 25th of uh, December, 2018, the year of our Lord. I want to share briefly with, uh, especially I'm, I'm more infatuated and I'm more in love with young men and women who are doing something with their own lives, who are planning, who are thinking, who are taking charge of their own lives, you know, because um, if you look at it, when you happen to go to school, when you happen to have some kind of a, 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 some level of education in our, in our community, in our country, uh, there seem to be a blockage in terms in, in terms of thinking and in terms of how we even see opportunities. Because when you go to school, then there is this sense of, uh, I don't know whether it's ego or it's arrogance or pride, I don't know whatever it is. But the moment we go to school, we seem to have some level of standard for ourselves and therefore uh, most people will complete school and wait for you know some people to come and employ them give them give them jobs and uh, if nobody's giving them job then the whole country the whole community is crying to say that we have a lot of un unemployed graduates all everywhere and uh, you know you get parents who are frustrated with their children being at home for five years six years seven years uh two years you know things like that but I think that without your education, you will not have any problem. If you didn't have that kind of education that you say you have, you know, uh, your degrees and your MBAs and all those things that you we study in our colleges, in our universities, in an economy that is largely informal. You know, informal means that the so-called graduate employment may, may not be so, so many to employ some of these so, you know, so, people that we call educated and, and if you, you had no education you will not have any problem selling watching you will not have any problem going to the farm you will not have any problem becoming a carpenter doing something you will not have any problems going to the village to bring cassava or kokoyam to the city to sell or uh what is it uh, selling kelewole or selling you know having a kiosk doing something that is a service that people need, selling a product that people need. But the problem is that when you go to school, uh, you seem to have your so-called standard. And for me, it really does not matter. If you have something that you are doing that the market is ready for, that people are ready to pay you, then put that school that you so much cherish somewhere. Because the essence, the advantage you have, if there is any of the kind of education, the degrees that you have, is for you to come and, and do things better than the one who you assume didn't go through formal education. So it's not so much the product, it's not so much the service, but it's so much how the quality of the method that your so-called school can give you, which you can, so somebody is selling as a watch, you can come out of your school and build a better management, a better infrastructure, a better way of serving people with watching. Or let's say you are, maybe you're a farmer. Because you say that you've been educated, you should be able to you know, understand how technology is applied to do more with a little, you know, in the shortest possible time. That's the, that's the kind of education, uh, advantage, if there is any, uh, that those people who have gone to school have. Now, I'm talking about how to succeed in your business. And uh, no matter how much small that you have started, 
your business because you should not i don't think that you should wait for i mean wait at home for three years four years and be waiting for people to pump you and to encourage you and uh, you have nothing to do with your life and you're waiting and if the government is not employing you then you're no i think that there are so many opportunities the only thing is that is the way you look at it is the way if you go to the market you see so many things that people are selling but you have you know raised yourself so much and at the end of the day a lot of those people a lot of those people that we think are informal control the money control the money control they have a lot you see money the cash flows through those the, the other uh, people that we have sent to school the educated the only advantage sometimes they have is that they get to work, work with the government and you know some of those positions come with all kind of privileges those are the little advantages that they have. and even that those who are very credible and honest and who are staying with the salary that they are paid you see that they have cash flow and money issues why because the opportunities are with the one who has control over money and that is with people who have entered into business and uh, and trying to solve problems for society so my name is Obeda. i'm talking about how you can succeed in your business you know i'm not going i'm not a prophet i'm not going to prophesy prophesy over you in 2019 this 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 there are steps that if you take they will get all of us close to succeeding with our business when we completed school and we, we did it we, you know we had a lot of things scattered in our in our minds we were just fidgeting. We just believed that we could do something. We just didn't know what to do, but we were ready to do something, to do anything anyway. We did not put in so much school and we didn't raise it so much. That was not it. The confidence that you have out of that school is what is important to do something that you think you can do, you know? So the confidence to face life and create something out of your situation is so much important and so you must have that confidence you have to identify yourself your philosophy you must you must really define yourself your your ability to get clear as to what you want to do with your life as to who you are as to what you understand as to the advantages that you have your philosophy your talent your strength the weaknesses that you have as an individual will, will go a long way to helping you to be able to weather through all the difficulties that you will meet in your in your quest to building a, a successful business or even sometimes a successful life you know building because success is is linked to that which you so much desire that you can make a contribution to this life you know and usually they are linked to improving quality of life for people for country for community you know so you should be able to identify this is me this is what I can do. These are the things that I do well. These are the things that I cannot, do, I can, I don't do well. These are my aspirations. These are the things that I think I can contribute to life. You know, so you have to convince yourself that this product I'm very much passionate about. This problem I'm very much passionate about. It means something that I'm so much concerned about. That helps you not to, not to so much dissipate energy and not to so much complain quickly and give up, because it's going to take you a lot of time for that business to become successful. And so if you, do, you have not defined yourself, if you have not defined your terms, if you don't know what you can stand for, then anything at all can push you. So my first, my first point of you trying to succeed in your business going forward, you know, 2020, 2019, 2018, is your ability to have a clarity as to what you are, who you are as a person, what you stand for, your mantra in life, and possibly the business that you're building, what that business is, I mean, stands for. That will, help, well, that will help you in the long You have to have that ability to believe in yourself. You need confidence. You know, without that, you are not going to succeed. So I'm talking to people who are looking, you know, because every now and then, every, you know, you meet people who are thinking, I want to do a business, you know, and they're thinking. And I ask them, what is your philosophy? What is the motivating factor? Why do you think you want to do business? You should be able to um, 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 set him, you know, um, set some kind of clarity on that. Because if you don't, then uh, until you get that, you'll be chasing things that will not give you the success that quickly. So set goals uh, as well. Set goals for yourself. Identify where you want to go. Set milestones. Set goals. Set goals. A life without goals is a life that, you know, is hazy set goals even if you're not sure set some goals set some goal for the next 12 months set some goal for the next two months set some goal for the next six months and work towards them it could just be some little goals that you write in your diary for this business 
what is that business that you are doing what is the business that you want to start set some goals at least set a month goal set it set 12 months goal set two months goal set three months goal set two years goal set some goal have some clarity this is what I want to do for the next one year, the next two years. And set what would you even define as success for your business? What is it? Is it when you when your business starts to make revenue of say ten thousand a month or revenue of say three thousand a month? What is it that you are setting? You have to set something for yourself because it's, if you're not clear in your goals, it will be that difficult. You know, so set some goals for yourself because the challenges will come anyway. But when you have set some goals, you will be able to push yourself because most often uh, people give up that quickly because they are not clear with the goals, with the vision that they have for themselves. So when they make challenges, they give up or the, when they see something is doing somewhere, they stop what they're doing. You know, something is doing so doing so well somewhere, they stop what they're doing now and they go to chase it, even though everyone that you go to chase may have some kind of timelines before you start to see success so set some goals for yourself uh, identify what you stand for as an individual be clear who are you what do you stand for in life what do you think are your gift what do you think the things that you do and what do you think you can contribute to this life those things are very much important bef be be before you can succeed with your business the other thing is that you have to identify the kind of business uh, vehicle that you have you know, so if so, let's say if somebody is in construction business, is entirely different from somebody who's in so let's say retail. You know, or so if somebody is into maybe a uh, farming business, it's so much different from somebody who's into maybe pharmaceutical business. So decide the kind of vehicle that you want to use, because uh, there are some businesses that when you enter. It's a different thing. There are some businesses that when you want to even grow the business, it's so difficult. When you want to scale it, it's so difficult because the problems are many and the capital investment is so much and yet the, the income comes in very little or the income comes in by controlled mechanism. Controlled mechanism means that, let's say you are doing a project, you know, you go to borrow people, you know, you pick money, you put it in a project, somebody sits somewhere and decides when the host to pay you, you know. <laughs> that is so much different from if I'm if I have a nice water business somewhere that I'm selling, or if I have cold store business that I'm selling. If you come to buy, you pay me, you go. No, no credit, no negotiation. I see money every day. You know, I can calculate my margins quickly, and the business can do well. Much so, every business has the components or the elements that will make them successful. So you must study the kind of business that you you have entered. It's so it's so critical because. Other than that, succeeding in business, and then you must also uh, take those decisions with our kind of environment into consideration. You should understand our environment, which businesses do well at what time. You know, because <laughs> there are some businesses that when you stage them in our in our community, in our economy, you may let's say your business is entirely dependent on importation. If the dollar is one CD. You know, if the dollar is one dollar against five cities, you know, if the dollar goes to seven cities, capital is gone. You know, so you should understand this kind of vehicle. It meets my aspiration, it meets my, my 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 gift, and I can grow that business because every business, there are a lot of contractors who are looking for projects. They're asking them percentages before they give them the project. They do all kind of things. You have to know the vehicle that you can succeed in. Because there are businesses that are. There are business people that you see that always struggle. Why? Because they've not been able to identify the, 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 the vehicle, the kind, the type of business that succeeds here. And especially if you want to do business and have some kind of credibility, some kind of character, some kind of honesty, then you must really be concerned as to which kind of the type of business that you want to do and to grow it and go into it. You are doing this with the intention that you also want to formalize this business. You know, you are not just looking for revenue. You are looking at, okay, I'm building this entity. It can become a company. I will, I'll be able to employ people. Because for me, there's no point wasting your time if all that you're doing is only with yourself and you go and you get money and come back, buy a house, buy a car. Uh, I think that's a waste of time. I think you are, you are trying to build something that will be able to give employment to people. That will be able to use management skill, leadership. You'll be able to develop, you know, innovate and build something that you can stay out and that business will run and it takes a lot of effort to do that but if you do identify the right 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 business vehicle then a lot you know a lot of the time you would have you met a have you ever met a contractor you and sometimes i often give this kind of an example you, you, 
you go for tender and you see him with uh, his you know back and he will tell you that he has done this for years and uh, this guy is still chasing this little contract you know that the vehicle didn't didn't help him because he didn't understand what he was doing and it was is what was volatile and uh, he was depending on promises from people connections you don't build a business that can sustain and that can run into more you know profitability if if you're just going by what people tell you you know word of their mouth and you, you are the mercy of people that is not a good vehicle so look at the kind of business that you know you because the business for a business to succeed from the little things that i know you must have control you must have, you must have control of how the how the revenue is coming in you must have some kind of control as how the, the revenue goes in if you don't have that it's not a business <laughs> Then you can project. Then you can predict. Then you can you can project growth. Then you can predict. Then you can see even even if the business can grow and scale. So it is that much important that you identify the vehicle that you want to use. Because if you want to, if you are driving Tico, let's say, no matter how much scale for or how much experience you are, you, you are, you know, this, there's a limited speed that it can go. No matter how much well you know. The journey, you know, and you can easily crash because the vehicle is that small. Now, if somebody is driving Land Cruiser, it's also different. And if somebody is using aeroplane, it's also a different thing. Somebody is using rocket, it's a whole different thing. So the vehicle that we we are able to understand and build will decide the kind of success that we also get. So uh, my name is Robin Darko. I'm talking about some of the things that you can do to succeed in your business going forward. You, know, you cannot be relying on oh 2018 will do well 2017 they, they kept promising us but you can see that it's not because there are things that must be in place for the business to work and 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 much of it has to do with our thinking and much of it would have to do with the skill that we are developing much of it would have to do with the strategy because it's not just motivation it's not just inspiration sometimes it has got to do with the strategy the mechanism the method the technology the formula that you are using to win. And if you don't have clarity of thought, then what kind of formula is working for you? In the kind of environment that you're operating, the kind of business that you have, the kind of personality that you have, the kind of economy that you have developed, you should be able to have some of these things uh, uh, clearly thought out and sometimes plan and you know you, 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 you fall on implementing them. The other thing that I would say is that you've got to be a person of value, of character. You've got to be a good person. I don't think that you have to crush everybody for, for you to succeed in a business. You must have some kind of, you know, credibility. You must work on it if you want to succeed. You cannot trash people like that. There are people that will trash people. I don't think it's a good strategy to win. After all, everything that you are building, the essence of it is that you'll be able to build human lives, human quality with what you are building. You know, so if you have to kill and destroy everybody's, for you to win, for me, is, is a bad strategy. That is not, you're not winning. If you have to sacrifice the future of our country, the future of our community, destroy everybody. You know, for you to gain, you have a wrong philosophy of what it takes, in terms of what it takes for you to succeed, whether it's with your life or with your business, you know. So you just have to be a good person, person of solid philosophy of life. You must have the, the, the ethics, you must work on it. We all have to work on it. I think that if you were brought up in our community, especially in a, in a country, you must have, you must define and you must tell yourself that I'm going to be a person who is always, you know, working on his ethics, on his character. I'm going to try and, and, and do as much as, you know, if it's A, I'm going to stand by his A. If it's B, I'm going to stand by it. And if there is a challenge, I'm going to hold through till it works out. You know, you have to be that kind of person. Treat people well, treat yourself well, treat the community well, treat uh, people you do business with, the people you have employed, your partners, uh, your suppliers, anybody that is connected to you, do as much as you can to treat them well. These things all contribute to you succeeding. They contribute to you succeeding. If you see somebody who is cruel, who is wicked, who is always trying to cut corners, you always see them building new network all the time. Why? It's because when people find out who you really are, they don't stay with you. Not good people. Good people would want to stay with good people. People who are credible want to stay with good people who are credible. So don't think of just succeeding anyway, anyhow. Be a person that people will say this one is different because your character is actually a capital. Your character is actually a currency. It's collateral. 
there are things that sometimes you see that everything is going down. But somebody who stands, stands over and says that, no, this man is different. He will, he will go by what he says. You know, or he will go by what he said. And that sometimes will save you from a, a, a dying situation. Sometimes it will give you a lot of leverage. And so stay, decide to be a good person, stay, stay, decide to be a person of uh, practice the ethics. Be honest. That is how you're going to win. That is how you're going to win. If your business, if you want to win the business, those are the things that you have to stay with. Go gradually. Go. Give yourself the 10 years. Give yourself the 5 years. And don't break it down evenly. Sometimes, the 5 year mark that you have given, the 10 year mark that you have given, sometimes in the 8 year, you see that everything starts to explode. Because you are doing things and you are building the right foundation. And for me, as much as you can stay in a business that you have control, stay in a business that you're not begging a lot of people, stay in a business that people, a lot of people can come and give you money, which means that they trade with you, not just one source. Because for me, that if you look at the, the areas that we have, met, we, have, we have met a lot of challenges and difficulties, those are the areas. We were trying to depend on one person for revenue and almost all the time, they were, they, those were disastrous situations. You know, so look at the economy, look at what you can do and do well and be a good person and take charge of the finance. You cannot say that you're succeeding when the business is hemorrhaging. You cannot say that you're succeeding with your life when you're still broke and poor. I mean, you know, let's face it. <laughs> Poverty is not part of success. <laughs> it's not part of it. So let's consider that and let's work on it. The business cannot work if the finance is always in trouble. And if the finance is always in trouble because the, the person holding the business, leading the business, has problem with money. And so the more misunderstanding that we have with money, the more ignorant we are with finances, the more we leave the finances to lack and low to and chances, the more we struggle and suffer with our businesses. So if you get to have the knowledge, if you get to have the skill and you get to practice them well, the finances will start to control them. Don't leave the finances of the business, the future of the business into any hands apart from you. You know, you're, because what you're making, the decisions that you're making, they will establish the threshold upon which the business can work and work well. So my name is Obinda. I'm talking about how you can succeed in your business going forward, how you can succeed in your business. You know, I'm not giving you 31st prophecy. No, I don't really subscribe to those because I don't think that the year is going to change differently uh, from what you have done. If you have not done anything, the year is not going to change. If you have, if you have not been developing yourself, if you have not been building the business, if you have not been working, if you have not been paying your dues, if you have not been doing the extra work, the business is not just going to succeed one time. No, it does not work like that. Anything that you're not feeding, that cannot succeed. If anything that you're not giving attention to, it cannot succeed. You know. So your commitment to the business, your your, your obsession, you want to make sure that the business works that commitment is what's going to be responsible and, and making sure that you're doing what it takes for the business to work is so much critical. So my name is Obeda and I'm saying that there are things that you must have in mind. If you don't, if you overlook those things, the success will be very much difficult. And it's no joke trying to build business in our country. It's no joke at all. The indicators. Now I think that things are even picking and picking a bit uh, slowly, but uh, there are people who are still going through a lot of stress. Likely because sometimes it's not even economy. Likely because we have not solved the first problem, which is ourselves. You know, our psyche, our, our thinking, what we understand about what success is and what even a business is. Some people have done all this trading all their life, but they still have not been able to break things down rightly. And so they have to sweat for them to see any little progress. And so um, your, your proper understanding of what it takes for you to build anything successful is so critical. The proper, the closer you are to how what works, works is so critical to you succeeding. And so um, I'm, I'm trying to go over and then uh, it's a Christmas day, 2019 is just some four days away or five days away. Uh, people are just hoping and, you know, they, they, they shoot up our confidence they'll tell you that the, the next year will be different next year is not going to be different if you are not different this year is going to be the same if you're the same person if you have not stretched yourself if you have not developed yourself if you are not if you're not 
renewing the content if you're not adding up if you're not doing extra if you are not getting out of those friends that you have who are doing nothing and getting close to people who are doing something if you're not reading if you're not researching if you're not pushing yourself if you're not becoming better nothing is going to get better those are the facts of life you know so don't just live your life hoping that that business is going to succeed it's going to succeed when you want to succeed and you're committed to it succeeding in that case, when you meet any challenge, you are not afraid. You are ready to work through and, con and you're ready to push through till the challenge is over, you know, because life itself is full of challenges, you know, so, <laughs> and you don't have to run away from challenges. You have to stay with them and keep fighting. And so my name is Obed Ako. I'm talking about what it will take you, how to succeed in your business going forward in 2019, 2020. You have to define yourself. You have to be sure. You have to have something to stand for that this is this is who i am and this is what i stand for and and fortunately if what you stand for is good it will continue to contribute to contribute big time to you succeed there so clarify yourself your confidence is so critical when you're talking to some people they say that they believe in you know their confidence is in god and all that listen on this earth you must have confidence you must be a person who stands for something even if it's not working even if it's failing because the guy with confidence, the guy with courage, the guy who believes that what he's doing is going to succeed, that man will be the one who believes that he, what he's doing is not going to make any difference. So your confidence in yourself is so critical. And, and, and nothing has a lot of problems than business. And so if you're doing business and you are weak within, it is going to be very difficult. Because the things are going to come at you from everywhere. You know, they're going to come at you at every way. So, uh, I believe in yourself. Identify what you stand for. Um, and identify the business that succeeds. Because there are some businesses that <laughs> takes a very long time for it to succeed, if it will ever succeed at all. And uh, set goals. Set good goals. Set good goals. Stretch yourself. Set goals for the next six months, the next 12 months. Set goals. And stay with the goals. Commit to it. Don't just hope that, you know, like the way they are going to declare to us those things will not change anything what will change is your understanding and is your commitment to the vision to the business you know and then largely be a good person be a person who who stay with what you say no matter what you know no matter what no matter what so my name is <laughs> my name is Obinda Ko. I'm talking about how to succeed with your business how to succeed with your business entrepreneur should be so much different from what uh, what we see around because it thrives on innovation, it thrives on commitment, it thrives on creativity. You know, it's not so much about uh, <laughs> a lot of the rich men that we have. <laughs> and I dare say that if you want to start a business, look at the area where if you want to start a transport business, it's dangerous. If you want to start even construction that you're working for government, it's another dangerous business. Mine is dangerous. Uh, but developing a product says working on your skill, developing something from where you are. Those can lift you. Those can bring the best out of you. And sometimes if you're a person of value, of character, those areas can help you to be a bit more honest, far more honest than the other areas like contract from government and, and, and things like that. The other day I was talking to a friend and he said, why are you saying that <laughs> contract from government is so dangerous? Because government is the biggest employer. So yes, government is the biggest employer, but the procedures, the processes, they destroy. They destroy. By the time you go through one contract, you are, you are, you are not a good person anymore. You're a bad person. Because they won't give you until you have for, well, some kind of understanding. And you, you know it. So, <laughs> And for me, eventually, who will lose is you, because you want to build business. The other people who are taking money, they don't want to build business. They want money. If you have the passion, if you have the goal to build a business, then you must set your things rightly. And you must really know what you're doing and where you want to go and you must have philosophy you must have some kind of standard for yourself and you must have the endurance or you must have endurance you should be able to be a person who can persist continuously and that's why you succeed so your commitment to the business to your vision your belief in yourself not just in god your belief in yourself is so much critical the financial discipline the choices that you're going to make with the finances are critical any little thing can be suicidal to the survival of your business, you know. And and on top of that, don't just run the business with spartans, you know, 
superstition thinking that you know when i when they do this for me in the business will work those are the things that have made a lot of people not successful and that's why that's why when you look around you see that most of the companies that are very big in our country are run by foreigners and look at how they run them they run them with systems with data with technology with management with structure not just only with money yes they come with better money sometimes but a lot of it, these multinationals that are running, they were started by people like us. The only thing is that they, were, they started with some of these things in mind. You know, they knew that if they have better structure, the business will grow. If they had better strategy, the business will grow. If they commit more, the business will grow. If they're very disciplined with their finances, the business will grow. If they are very honest in the, in the community that they're operating, the business will grow. If they treat their workers well, the business will grow. This the practice not every one of them but those who are able to do it and do it well and build successful successful scalable sustainable business a lot of these things they are trying to practice them and practice them well now on the other hand the people who are struggling don't believe in any of these you know they believe <laughs> we believe in cutting corners we believe in cheating we believe in not taking care of our, of our workers and our partners we believe in you know all kind of things that we believe in and the more we fall on the other side the more we struggle and so you can meet somebody who is always trying to say, why is it so difficult, I'm struggling, but yet they are doing things the way they used to do them. They have not upgraded anything, they have not structured anything differently from the last three, four, five years. If nothing is changing, nothing is going to change in the future. You know, so the success has to be that honest, honest auditing of what has not worked, you know, and the courage to correct them then hopefully we'll be able to succeed with our business. Hopefully we'll be able to succeed with our business. So my name is Obidak, I'm recapping, and I'm, I'm talking about how you can succeed with your business. Entrepreneurship is about the only way for a lot of us, you know. If your father is not a president, your brother is not a, the vice chancellor or the vice president, and nobody is employing you, you have got to do something, oh boy. <laughs> and, and drop your education, drop your degrees. If you have to sell chippings, go and sell them. If you have to sell kelowale, go and sell them. If you have to go and bring egg from the village and sell them in the city, plantain, cassava, charcoal, they are all business people. If they, so long as there is a demand for it, the difference will be the management that you bring, the expertise that you bring. It's not so much the product. The product has, people are selling water everywhere. Votic mm -hmm. is selling water. The other guy on the street is also selling water. But Votic is a big business. The same product. Their difference is what? Is the infrastructure. Is the, is the management that they have built around it. You know, so it's, it's not so much the product. I look, I look around and say, ah, but why do graduates say that they don't have a job? Because there are so many things that you can do if you drop. You can build anything and build it well. Because then you come with information. Then you can research. You can see how things are done well. You can manage people. You can set goals. You know, and that's the advantage of the school that you have. But if you think that the only the only use of the school, because yeah, the only use of the school is to work for the government, wait for somebody to help us. So if you don't get that, and I think it's a bit limited. There are so many things that you can do if you're at home and you think that you can't do anything. Think different. Sorry, sorry, the network. Challenge your thought. So challenge your thought. Challenge your thought as a student. Challenge your thought as so-called graduates. Don't 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 make it so big. There, there are so many things that you can do. There are so many things that you can do if you want to change your situation. You know, and if you want your business to work, there are so many things that you have to do. Be a, be a student of life. Steady. Learn. Continue to learn. And work hard. And don't give excuses. And if they need it, deliver it. Uh, it's a Christmas day. It's a Christmas day. When everybody is partying, you should be working. That's how you change the situation. You cannot work like everybody and expect to be different from everybody. It doesn't work. If they do two hours, you do four hours. If they do five hours, you do 20 hours. That's how you work. That's how you change something. That's how you build something. You know, so my name is Obedako. I don't think that we all have any excuse to be at home and saying that we are not you're not employed. No, it's not true. There are so many things that you can do. If you drop your ego, you can go to Makola and pick something and go and sell. Doesn't matter. The difference is the more you're doing, you start to see other opportunities. You start to see so many things. You, you understand the word from the way <laughs> that the word is being processed in your mind. It's not really how the word is. Your world is really how you think. 
you know so if you go to makula and you see something the way you see it and opportunities that you can create around that thing is your advantage it's your advantage and so this is how you're going to succeed if you so wish to succeed and no complaints and if you go and it's not working don't don't <laughs> nobody has cares you who are studying the data well sit down and plan well and believe that you have what it takes to build that believe that believe that that's the first thing identify yourself identify your strength have that self-confidence that what you have committed yourself to do is going to succeed and you're ready to do what whatever to make sure that it succeeds and you're not going to give complaints you set goals as well set goals set goals and decide to know that this business is in the right part for it to grow is the business vehicle is all right and uh, the other side is that um, be a person of character be a person of ethics and uh, treat people well treat yourself well and be disciplined with the money discipline with the money so thank you very much for watching merry christmas to you uh hopefully we meet some other time thank you very much for watching